If there is anything that hooks people's interest right away though, it's authenticity. It kind of started with the character, which is uh, both an amalgamation of Natasha, but also um, the representation of a particular type of female character that we hadn't seen. Um, and then it was like long periods of just her and I discussing the things that we were both interested in, the, you know, the comedy we both liked, the themes we both liked, um, the source materials we both, you know, the movies we both liked. And then at some point I said, you know, now I would like to, you know, incorporate a designer who I haven't said is my sister. <laughs> um, now that we've kind of got this idea, this woman's going to be dying over and over again. It's kind of, it's East Village, New York. Like here are the templates for the main character, um, blah, blah, blah. That's kind of when Inga and my conversation begins, which is like, you know, we haven't even sold the show yet. I start expressing the idea to her. Usually Inga doesn't read anything. She doesn't read the script. Um, not in like, you know, I mean, she does, I think eventually, but like, you know, when, especially when we're having our first conversations, it's, it's really like a practice run for me at pitching. But it's kind of fun because then I'm like, okay, how do I convince Inga to want to watch this? You know, the more times you can explain the show to people, the better. Part of actually it is an asset now, but for a long time, I thought just made me a flake as I've had like a hundred different careers and I've studied a myriad of different subjects. She was talking to me about this lookbook um, frustration, and I was like, "Well, you know that I I do graphic design." And she was like, "How am I supposed to keep track with what you do?" But also, like, what does that mean? How does this work? And so we started looking and talking. Coming in naive can be really great, is I guess what I'm trying to say. If you're thinking like, "I don't know what a lookbook is," like, don't try to follow a template because even the essence of a lookbook it's changing. When producers call me, when big studios talk to me, they ask for very different kinds of things. There's no secret formula that people have. Keep in mind, it can be what you want. The idea is what, what do you want to accomplish and then infuse your creativity into making that happen. But it's always good to have because as Leslie has learned in the room, they'll ask you. When you go to tone, you know, what you're trying to express to them is how are you going to tell this story and what is the audience going to feel like when they're watching it? So what I say to Inga is I say a bunch of different things about the show. Like I talk about, like, it's about existential crisis. It's about feeling claustrophobic in your own uh, life. It's about um, waking up to the fact that you are your own worst enemy. I'm talking about the tone. What do I want the audience to feel like? Sometimes I'll mention other you know, references and so on and so forth. Inga strays away from actual movie references unless she absolutely has to, or they're really kind of interesting. A pitch is a sales tool. And so it has to be short grabbing. And it also though has to include a lot of information like your entire outline. I made a pitch book for that. And it's very text heavy because it was such a dense world they were building. Um, and really trying to find images that made it seem like a little bit more digestible so you're not just like, what am I reading? Um, I made a character lookbook and then the production, it's like, okay, everything, you already know what's in place, what's, what we're doing, we're moving forward. How do we show subconsciously repetition? We can do that through reflection. We can do that through slotted lighting, et cetera, et cetera. Your biggest obstacle is the curse of knowledge that you understand it, but you have to explain it to a bunch of strangers in a room. You know, it's basically like you have to explain the color red to someone that has never seen red before. So you have to be like, you know, red. You know, it's like they're going to be like, right? And then you're like, you know, ketchup. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know ketchup. It's like sticky and like, I love it on hot dogs. But like, no, 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 but like ketchup. It's like ketchup. You know, it's like everyone's going to have their own way in. You know, and then you go blood and they're like, oh, blood. Yes, I know blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why the variety on, on Inga's pages is so helpful because they'll latch on to certain things. You know, I've had, I've had the heads of studio stop me in the middle of the, you know, presentation to point out an, an image that Inga pulled and they'll say, oh, yeah, see, that to me is the show. It's an image I never really thought much about, but you know, I'm like, great, now I have more information. That's something that exorcist image is something that they understand.